Okay, so I'm going to hop on here and do my eyes. I'm going to do a cranberry glittery situation and some lips. I already did my face, blush, contour, all that good stuff. Um, I just want to keep it short and sweet today. So I'm going to start out with my limelight shadows. We're going to use Cream Boat, One Night Sand as usual, and then I'm going to use Cora the Story, which is this one right here. putting it on a fluffy blender brush. This is Cream Boat to set everything. This is one night sand that I'm throwing in the crease. I think I'm going to bust out the Jaclyn Hill palette and um, Tarte's new chrome paint pots. I think that's what they're called. I have Fire Dancer, so we'll try that. Coral of the Story is going to give us that warmth to start in the crease to blend everything out. When you're using bold color, um, I like to add more steps, so this one might be a little bit more intense, which is why I did my face already, so you don't have to watch that. Now, as I have less product on my brush, I am bringing it up towards the brow more for more of that blown out effect for the color. So you can see it's kind of brought up decently high. We diffuse it to about here. Actually, I'm going to use the orange also from the Lottie Dazzle palette. I broke everything down. Um, I think it's called Lily or Lily, one of the two. He's been in a mood all morning. And these um, shadows are so pigmented and they blend beautifully. I just want to make sure that I have some of the orange color in the crease and a little bit on the outer corner of the lid just to create that like full on rounded effect. Alright, as I throw the brush, done with that for the moment. Alright, so I'm going to take a smaller blender brush and we are going to go in with this is the Jacqueline Hill palette. It's gorgeous. Um, I'm going to start with this one. I don't have the names in front of me. I'm sorry. They didn't print them on it. They gave a card and Lord knows I'm not going to keep a card. You know I'm not organized enough for that. Oh, and I am doing this via pre-record today because I noticed the quality has kind of been meh for live. It finally gets better at some point, but since we're doing eyes, I wanted you guys to be able to see the detail a little bit better.
Hopefully you guys can tell that this is making it a little bit more red, a little more rusty versus that bright orange that I started with. I'm not gonna put this down yet. I'm gonna go in with a dark chocolatey tone. This guy right here. On the outer corner only. It's just gonna help create a little bit more depth. Kind of keeping that in the triangle shape. Let's see if that's a little better. Turning up the reeky. Sorry, I'm a crazy mess today. I'm like dry, but I'm oily, and yeah. My eye bags were ridiculous, as you saw. Um, they were actually better in the photo than they were in person. <laughs> they were bad in person. Alright. So now I'm going to take a kind of stiff brush. And we're going to bust out a little open fire dancer from Tarte. So these are like pressed but they're loose like I really don't know how to explain them let's see Ooh, it's pretty all right so I think the brush moves it too much I'm gonna go with my finger really pretty they don't have a ton of colors yet but I'm sure that they will expand these because these are pretty awesome I've used the, what is the other one I bought? Top Yacht. It's like a white gold champagne kind of color. So when you're applying something like this, oh god, I already got it everywhere. Yeah, um, probably should do your face after, but too late. Keep it down towards the lid. Or towards the lashes because you can always blend it out more later and diffuse it through the crease which I'm totally gonna have to do okay. so got a good bit on there get it closed there we go. Right, I'm gonna pick back up that brush and I'm gonna use that first red color from the Jaclyn Hill palette and go to the crease here and blend out the edges. If you could use your finger, make sure you're not using the one covered in pigment. I almost just did that. Now, I'm going to take a little brush and just kind of diffuse out the bottom here. There we go. I'm going to use that right color first. I'm going all the way around and under. You can totally just do the outer corner, but I kind of made a mess, so we're just going to go with it. Um, this is an ideal look for green eyes, but any color can pull it off. If you have blue eyes, I suggest going more orangey tone than red. That, like, copper tones are going to really complement your eye color.
All right, so do not look like we have an infection because this is too much red. I'm gonna go in with that brown color too. Same thing. You can use a smaller brush and keep it more to the uh, lash line. I really don't care either way. So I'm just going for it. Kind of scary looking, but it's okay. Once we get on mascara line or all that good stuff, we'll be better off. I am going to add a little bit of a bare metals color to the center of the lid just to give it a little bit more dimension. I feel like it's a little too red all over, a little too flat. So I'm going to use Pretty Penny. It's this like rusty color. It's gorgeous. Um, it's from Limelight. It's in the bare metals palette. And I'm just going to put this over the center of the lid. If you want this step to be a little bit more bold, you can wet the brush first and use that instead of your finger. I just want to create a little bit more depth and a little less red. So this is doing exactly what I want. We're almost kind of halo style. We just skip the super dramatic steps to do so. liner time. Alright, I'm going to use Filth for Melt. It's like a deep brown. We're going to do waterline and tight line with this. This will define your eye a little bit better and make it look less like an infection and more intentional. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> Oh, I'm not going too far down, sorry. I suggest sharpening before your pencil gets this low. I may have stabbed myself. That was a lash, sorry. digging it that I was gonna do liquid liner across the lash line but all right line light mascara my whole thing So since we're not doing liner, I do suggest like lashes or put the line on the uh, upper lash line to give you that more definition when you're doing reds. The way to wear them right is to add oranges or warmth or darker colors so that it doesn't look too red, too pink, like something is wrong versus a nice cranberry kind of look. So I'm going to add... I think I'm going to go with these guys. I think they're Foxy from Cake Face. They're already cut down. So I will do another video with like cutting lashes, the dramatic kind. Um, easiest way to apply them because I hate new lashes so you can see me struggle. Um, you know, we all fight with them. Even though I wear them, it doesn't mean we get along.
as usual, letting it get tacky. All right, this is the uh, Callus Lash Glue. The uh, House of Lashes is good too. I prefer brush on. I don't like squeeze. Alright, so these guys, I'm adhering it to the outer corner and letting it sit and set up. I need to clean these puppies off, they got glitter on them and everything. There's always fuzzies attached to something. Okay, sorry. Lashes are caught. There we go. You can close your eye or look down. Sometimes it's easier for me to just close. You also want to make sure that they're sitting on top of your lashes and you're not setting it up to go into. That's going to fight you and have more issues. Alright, that one's done. Once it's set, that's when you can kind of like push them up a little bit, move them around. You don't want to slide them. If you slide them, you're going to have too much crap happen at once. All right. <coughs> what lipstick do I want to do? I set it on creme brulee. I'm going to add a little bit of a lip topper with some glitter. So for this, when you get... These, this is the limelight one. Comes out with too much, so you want to scrape some off first. And with red eyes, I tend to go for more of a nude lip. Um, you can also do dark. I would just avoid another red. Unless you're going all cranberry all the time, that's fine too. This is creme brulee, and I'm going to add the rose gold lip topper from Jouer. Just for a little something extra. I forgot to set my face before lashes and mascara, so we're just going to do that now. This is the 10 years younger, it just locks everything in place. I did use first base today for once, I remember. I also remembered my eye serum as you guys saw earlier. So, this may all fall down. We'll see. Alright, so here's our finished look. Cranberry eyes, nudish lips, lots of glitter and shimmer. Um, love you guys, and I'll be back with more. Hopefully live sometime this week. Um, but yeah. Any questions, let me know. I will do a full lash video. That's coming soon. Thanks.